What's going on, everybody? NBA 2K14. I have two games for you. Houston Rockets versus the San Antonio Spurs. And the second game is the New York Knicks versus the Detroit Pistons. Thank you, little Gordis. It's R Ray Play 22 versus J underscore Hover 2. Uh, the first game is going to be Rockets, Spurs. Len is driving down. He's going to give it to Howard on the post. You can't mess with him. He's posting him up. Pump face, lace it up. Good. Well, let's get on to the second game. I'll get back to that one. Detroit Pistons, the new look versus the New York Knicks. And my man's going to be controlling them. Intoxicated player versus J underscore over two. The tip off is on. Detroit controls the ball. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Hope y'all enjoy both games. I'm going to check back with y'all later. Enjoy the game. And uh, here's the first two points of the game. It's 2 9 Detroit. Let's get this game on. Let's do it. And so it's New York with it. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Kevin, thank you. I spoke with the Pistons head coach for just a bit. He said that they will be focusing a lot of their defensive effort into slowing down Carmelo Anthony. I asked him for specifics, and he said, Melo is such a dynamic player, there really isn't any single thing we'll do that will be the answer. Instead, we're just going to throw everything we have at him and see how he handles it. Guys? Get these fans back. Incredible timing on the alley -oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. Outside Jennings. He passes to Drummond. And still a close game. Wow, what a tight quarter. The Pistons are up by three. Well, let's get on to the first quarter of San Antonio Spurs and the Houston Rockets. The Rockets are up by four. The Spurs score their first basket. Let's go. Down to five on the shot clock. Harden kicks to Howard. Oh! And he slams it down right on top of Tim. He is one guy you do not stand in the way of when he decides to attack the rim. Yeah, they would end the season with a 33 and 19 conference record, which you know is pretty good, but still only fifth best in the West. It shows you how strong the Western Conference was a year ago, particularly at the top. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. Let's we'll see how long they can keep it going. This is quite a start. Parker drives in, and Dia with the basket on the assist by Parker. Also, there's one other thing I've noticed with him. He's great at stripping the ball away from you at the last possible moment. It's not an easy play to make, but he seems to have developed a knack for doing just that. That's good. Here's Beverly. Got a piece of it. Harden defended by Bob. Here's Garcia. Oh, Garcia, he gets blocked. It's 9-15, the Spurs are up. Let's get on to the second quarter of the Knicks and Piston game. Let's do it. The Knicks have the ball, and they driving down. Let's see what's gonna happen here. They down by three. J.L. Smith, he's gonna lay it up. He gets it in. Good. Now the Piston, can they answer back? Billups, J underscore over two. Can he pull it off? He's calling for a post move. He's gonna pass it to my man. He's shimmying, he gets up, he lays it up. Let's get this quarter going, let's do it. It's stolen. Now Detroit moving it out. The big jump at the end of the break. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that. And then... They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. He took good advantage of that screen. You know, a lot of the NBA's most explosive players, man, that small forward position. And you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. Steve, I'd say more than pretty good. Those are the guys. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. Can't chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. And Stoudemire with the basket on the assist by Smith. Phillips passes to away. He's against Stoudemire. 
Villanueva against Stoudemire. Lays it up and banks it in. And Smith backing in. Dishes it to Carmelo. Shoots from the elbow. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. The drive by Jennings. Here's Drummond. Chandler with the block. But they get it back. Jennings dishes to Stuckey. He was all alone on that one. Stuckey's got his third basket of the night right there. Let's it go from deep. Drilled it just as the horn sound. Imai Shumper with the buzzer beater. Gives a four-point lead to the Knicks. Well, let's get on to the second quarter of the Spurs and Rocket game. The Spurs are down by six. R. Ray play 22 has the ball. He's passing it around. He gives it back to Ginobili. He pops the three. He makes it good. Let's get this quarter going. Let's do it. And certainly has learned how to power through and finish when bumped on his way to the hoop. All alone. Flushes it down to finish the break. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power the dunk. And guys, this is just too close to the game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Manu Ginobili is really one of those electrifying all-around players. I mean, he's as fun to watch as any guy in the league. He scores, he defends, has a nose for the ball. He does everything, and usually he packs a bunch of production. Now here's Lynn. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Green with the ball. Now defended by Beverly. And it's Green with the jam. Defended by Parsons. It's intercepted. And here comes the break. Beverly, the pass to Lynn. Good. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Throws it up high. Ajik, no good. Tried to get a little too fancy with that one. Desperation shot, he misses. The Rockets are dominating. They're all by 10. Well, let's get back to the Knicks and Piston game. The Knicks are up by four. Piston have the ball. Josh Smith is going to receive it. He gets blocked. Carmelo with the ball. He passes to J.R. Smith. He's going to try to dunk it. He gets blocked by behind. Let's get this quarter going. Let's do it. That's the group for Detroit right now. Last season, a hard one for Stuckey. Pistons finally shifted him back to his natural shooting guard position. A lot of people thought he would break out, but instead, he had his lowest field goal percentage and scoring average since his rookie season. Smith, the pass to Carmelo. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Smith dishes to Carmelo. From deep, the Knicks rebound. Outside for Felton. He feeds it to Smith. And that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. Can't connect there, but still a red-hot start to the half, hitting four of their first five field goal attempts. And here comes Smith, leading the fast break. And he lays it straight in. It was up to Mello and the other perimeter guys to carry the offense. Anthony, the pass to Stottom. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. That one on Monroe. Some big points there. I mean, they got them on a nice play to get the range, guys. I mean, as a team, they are really shooting the ball well and executing from the perimeter. Tyson Chandler, who's checked in for New York. Anthony. Good. The Pistons have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third. And Udrich kicks to Bargnani. Deflects the pass. With one on the clock. Off on that one. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Great game so far. Start of the fourth quarter. Pistons are up by one. Can the Knicks come through and win this game? They came back. The Pistons need to find a way to win. Well, we're going to see. Pistons have the ball. He shoots. He makes it. They're up by three. Let's go. 
Anthony's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. We have a step back, and again, it's New York. I love it when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kevin, head coach of the Pistons had some words for his team over the break. He told them it's time to fight and take the lead. Let's put ourselves in position to bring it home. Guys, we'll see if they've got what it takes to get it done. From the three-point line. And that one's good. Stoudemire, here we go. Shot is off. Good work defensively by Monroe. Stucky up top. He's covered by Felton. And Billups gets it to go. For New York, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. They'll shoot one more at the free throw line. So Stoudemire will go to the line to shoot two. That one on Monroe. Brandon Jennings, he's checked in for Chauncey Billups. He's really the guy you want on the stripe in that situation. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's clutch. Stucky against Shumper. Here's the three. That's good from Jennings on the assist by Stucky. And there's the feed to Monroe. To take the lead... It's the first one, and that ties the game up. And New York making a change here. Smith has checked in. And so making both free throws. That'll give them the lead here. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up making the second, and that will put them up by two. Just a chance to put them up three. That's going to affect how they set up on defense this trip now. Felton dishes to Stoudemire. Stolen by Monroe. Stucky drives inside. Smith. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that makes it a three-point lead. Here is Felton. Mark a critical possession right here. Boy, Kevin, you can just feel the crowd on pins and needles right now. It's good. This game is all even. Jennings with the ball. He kicks to Smith. Anthony on him. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And so both free throws are good. It's a two point hold. Execute, we should be able to get a good look here. I agree with you, Steve, but I'd like to see him pound it inside and try to get to the rim. Felton. Out to Smith. Got it up in time. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And so it's the Pistons who come out on top here. Wow, what a game. Josh Smith is the player of the game. J.R. Smith couldn't come through in the final seconds to win it. Shot a three. Great D. And the Pistons take this one. Josh Smith had 19 points. And J.R. Smith had 19 points. But the Pistons came out on top. Wow, what a game. He almost had it. The Knicks could have took it. But great D by the Pistons. Well, let's get on to a Houston Rocket game versus the Spurs. It's the start of the third quarter. Let's get it in. Uh, Lynn has the ball. He's going to pass it to Harden. He's going to pop it, shoot it in. Let's get it on. Harden dishes to Howard. Back to Harden. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. To win 50 games. They've done it 14 straight seasons now, which is off the charts. Soft touch off the glass. By the way, that's an NBA record. Second closest were the Lakers 
with 12 straight steeds from 79 to 91. Yeah, 58 wins last season for San Antonio. Six on the shot clock. Parker outside. Duncan left side. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Back and look at his incredible rebounding average, and he's actually a beast in the paint. I mean, when the shot goes up, he really believes it belongs to him if it doesn't go in. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. I'd say that shot was well within his range. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I was pretty good from two feet and in myself. That's a gimme there. Houston might have made the playoffs in the West last season, guys, but it wasn't because they were beating up on their peers. They were 24 and 28 against the rest of the West. Ginobili against Garcia. Ginobili right side. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Ginobili's got seven points in the game. Drop that one in as soft as a feather using the finger roll. That's good. And the Rockets lead by two. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Boy, I'd like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It, it seems like everything is right at the rim. Woo, the Spurs came back. Let's get on to the fourth quarter. Let's see who's going to win. Jeremy Lin along with James Harden. And it's Smith in at the center. That's the five for Houston right now. And here's Bonner from the arc. And that one's good. Bonner's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Spurs. It's Harden with the drive. Dishes it to Monte Yunus. Parsons hangs home the trifecta. Yeah, I think it would have been a tough catch for either of them. Splitter defended by Asha. Bonner kicks to Parker. And the shot is good. On the wing, Harden. For three, the basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got five assists in the game. And for Howard, averages of 17-12. Not bad at percentage. Yeah, but we're used to seeing him get kind of you know, 23. Outside, Lynn. The feet to Howard. It's stolen by Green. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's been a strong game for Green. Nine points. He's come up with a couple of nice steals today, too. Well, he's been playing a very energetic brand of defense, Clark. you got to love it. And both free throws good for Green. Splitter comes in for Matt Bonner. And it's Duncan in for Boris Diaz. Parker dishes to Duncan. And the shot is good. Boy, that was a thing of beauty by Parker. Howard, the pass to Asha. Let's it fly from 18. Rebound San Antonio. Duncan's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Parker kicks to Green. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got assist number seven for him tonight. It's Harden with the drive. And that one is stuffed right through. There it is, guys. That old lady fence. Just watching him go Parker right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. The defender was in his jersey that time, Steve, and it rattled him. He clearly was not comfortable at all on the release. Parsons outside. Six on the shot clock. And another three for Houston. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Leonard, no luck. Now, defensively, they did a great job of staying tight on him. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Green guarded by Hart. And it's Green missing. Well, this one is winding down now. Houston can watch the... Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. And there you have it, two exciting games. Your player of the game for this one is going to be Dwight Howard. He went all out. They couldn't stop him. He had 20 points, but Harden had 23 points. 
Great job by Intoxicator Player and Art Ray Play 22. Both games were exciting. Well, thanks for watching. Green led the way for the Spurs with 13 points, but it wasn't enough. Houston came out on top. Well, thanks for watching both games. Till next time, I'm out. Take care. I'm going to have some more for y'all. Peace.